So the district is preparing for a potential mess on the roads. Ariane Till is live from Party Central, the Farragut Salt Dome in Northeast, where crews say they are fully stocked up and ready to go. Everything but streamers, I guess, out there, Ariane. You know what, Adam? I have my coat. To Leslie's point, I forgot my gloves. I will work on that. But DPW Director Chris Geldart says that they are all in on this storm, calling for a full deployment of more than 300 heavy and light trucks. He says that the city's, the district's four salt domes are nearly full and that trucks are going to start loading up with that salt tonight. But tonight and tomorrow, it is all about prepping the roads with that brine and beet juice mixture. He says they applied that first layer last night. They're going to do another one tonight into the tomorrow morning and then again on Saturday afternoon ahead of that snowstorm. And Adam, he says if they get enough of it down, he believes that they could reduce the amount of snow that sticks to the ground. So that can buy us a couple of inches once it does start snowing because it decreases the temperature which the snow can stick. So it should buy us about two, maybe a little bit more than that inch of the snow should be able to come down before anything starts to look like it might stick. If this is a total snow event and we do a good job at treating the roads uh, and keeping them wet, if we get a really good set of wind, 15, 20 mile an hour winds on the back end, it's gonna blow that snow right back out. So that we're gonna pay attention to that. That may mean we need to stay a little bit longer um, as we treat, or if we're pushing, it means we may have to do another run. Now, when it comes to what's going to happen, it's really hard to predict. He said Mother Nature is a crazy beast, but what we can predict is that you need to be careful on the roads. Just like Leslie was saying, be prepared. And Adam, I'm going to come back at six to talk to you about school closures and when they say they're going to get that information out to students. Yeah, I, I always love when we talk to Geldart because he, he just looks like he could grab the snow and manhandle it into submission. Uh, <laughs> keep us updated with what's going on. He's a tough dude. Yeah, he is. All right, Adian, thanks. Now to keep up.